and welcome to excel problem solving series so into this particular video i'll be discussing a very important and a new concept so this video will be very much interesting and useful for you so what i'll be discussing so i'll be discussing the pareto analysis concept so what does this pareto analysis concept it tells about so after seeing that we'll be coming to this data set so let us first of all move to this Pareto analysis definition. So I have this Google definition available here with me. So what does this Pareto analysis 80-20 rule says? So it says that for many events roughly 80% of the effects come from the 20% of the causes. So what does this mean? So this looks very much complex after reading. It simply means that 80% of the complaints comes from the 20 percent of the customers so these are some simple examples which they have provided here to make you understand the pareto principle 80 20 rule into a much simple way similarly 80 percent of the sales come from the 20 percent of the clients 80 percent of the computer crashes comes from the 20 percent of the it box so this is the pareto analysis or pareto principle which they have provided basis onto the same concept i have a new problem ready with me here so you can see the problem into the column a i have the date into the column b i have the part number so you can just consider these to be parts of a certain machinery and they have been provided numbers here into the column c i have the commodity group either this is a processor optical drive hdd so this might be some technical terms here and into the column d i have the production shortages so for example the port the part number as this particular one the commodity group processor so how much units is the production shortage so it is 67 units similarly all these data sets are provided here so what do we need to find so we need to find out the set of part numbers that are contributing to 80 percent of the production shortages and this is known as the pareto analysis basically we need to do the pareto analysis of the shortages the production shortages and we need to find the top 20 percent products or the part numbers which are provided here that are contributing to this 80 percent of these production shortages so i hope the problem is very much clear now as you can see from the examples which they have provided here 80 percent of the complaints they come from the 20 percent of the customers just replace this complaints with the production shortages and the customers with the part numbers so we can say 80 percent of the total production shortages it is coming from the 20 percent of the part numbers and into this particular problem i need to identify such 20 percent or such kind of different part numbers so i think the data here should be duplicated because of that we are just focusing on to this part number so i'll just try removing the duplicates and let us see if i am getting certain duplicate value into this particular problem so i'll just continue with the current selection remove duplicates and click ok so you can see i've got 339 duplicates value found and removed and that means that the duplicates are present into this particular column so let us proceed with this solution and let us find out all those 20 percent of the part numbers that are contributing to 80 percent of the production shortages this problem is very much simple so pay a little bit attention and all your solution will be clarified here so here i just need to make a pivot table on this i'll just go to this insert pivot table i'll click on to this ok i'll need to provide the part number and i'll need to provide this production shortages so i've got the sum of the production shortages now what i'll do i've got all the distinct part numbers and the sum of the total production shortages which they produced i'll just do a copy paste of this data and i'll present this into this sheet and i'll just present this as simple value so i just want a simple values here okay uh, i'll do one thing i'll paste into this particular column here i'll paste this as simple values and that's all let us move ahead we have got this data set here let us short this particular data set basis onto the descending order so i'll just sort this from largest to smallest so i want to continue expand the selection okay 
and sort this so you can see the data set has been sorted out i'll just remove this grand total cell here so i'll just shift the cells up and you can see the grand total cells has been removed so for example the part number as y 9960 the sum of the production shortages is 76813 similarly for part number as pnf 3x the production shortage is 16839 so the purpose of me making this into a descending order we'll see this and why i have done this you will be able to understand much more better way after i've done the entire calculation now let us calculate one of the column here and i'll just name this column as cumulative sum okay and what is this cumulative sum so this cumulative sum is so for the very first row it is just like this but from the second row the cumulative sum is something like i'll just provide the sum column and i just need to provide this range but the very first cell of this particular data set i want to fix this and this is known as the cumulative sum so before that particular current row whatever rows are coming i want to sum up the numbers whichever are coming into all those rows so this is known as the cumulative sum which i am getting here so i'll just drag this particular formula to the very last and if i'll just select one of the cell you can see the sum which is present or i've got is the resultant of the sum of all the numbers which are present into the current row and the rows which are present above the current row I'll paste this formula into the entire cell so i'll do a control d and you can see the entire formula has been pasted let's calculate one more column here and this will be column i'll just take this as the percentage column here what i'll do i'll get the percentage value of this particular sum whichever i have present into this particular cell here the cumulative sum column this particular corresponding cell here whatever number is present so getting the percentage value by dividing this particular number by the total cumulative sum percentage value so i'll just divide the cell value which is present here and i'll what with what number i'll divide so i'll divide this with the cumulative the total sum of the production shortage number so i'll divide this with that particular number and i'll make this as the fix because the entire column value i want to get by dividing it with the total cumulative sum of this particular column so if i'll just get the total sum of this particular column you will see the total sum which is coming here is 188056.2 here also you can see i'm just getting the same number so this is the cumulative sum the total sum here only i'll just convert this into the percentage value so you can see i've got this into the percentage value so i'll drag this formula to the very last so you can see this number is 40.85% of the total sum of all the numbers which are present into this particular column. Similarly, this particular sum is the 49.80% of the total sum which is present into this particular column. The reason why I sorted this first of all into the descending order was this only because I just wanted to get the very first unit which highly affects my production shortages and you can see wine 9960 it is highly affecting my production shortages so that is why i have produced this into the very first row and you can see all these items which are coming below they are affecting the least so the least which is affecting the production shortages is my w8 tyx and the highest which is affecting to my production shortage is wine 9960 you can see from this particular sum of production shortage so for wine 960 it is 76813 only and for this particular w8 tyx it is only one unit so that is why i've just first of all sorted this into the descending order i'm getting what is the total percentage value for the production shortage which is being produced by wine 9960 got all these percentage value for all these items now how i'll be getting all those items all those part numbers which are contributing to 80 percent of my production shortages so can we say by the time i'm getting 80 percent value in this particular percentage column 
above that all those items are contributing to the 80% of the production shortage so you can see here i am getting 40% so this particular part number is contributing 40% to the total production shortages now these two part numbers they are contributing 49% to the total production shortages these three part numbers they are contributing 54.75% to the total production shortages similarly i just want to get what is total number of set of part numbers which are contributing to 80% of the production shortages here you can see first of all i am getting the 80% value so i'll just be considering all the rows all the part numbers which are coming above this 80 percentage value and these part numbers they are contributing to my 80 percent of the production shortages value we have around 12 part numbers and the total distinct part numbers which i had into my data set was 113 so 12 part numbers out of these 113 part numbers they are contributing to my 80% of the production shortages so friends is this Pareto analysis true or not so you can see this is coming out to be 10% so here only 10% of the part numbers they are contributing to the 80% of the production shortages so friends this was the Pareto analysis which we have done here we can also represent the same thing with the help of the charts to make this look much more good friends i hope you had found this video very much useful so do like this video and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't to receive such kind of useful information meet you in the next video thank you so much bye